it's time once again for a John Bardcore confession. This pirate is broke. That's right, broke. It's not entirely my fault this time though. You see, Sea of Thieves has just updated its captaincy program in-game, retroactively adjusting milestones and decreasing the cost of purchasing the corresponding trinkets for decorating your ship, which I took advantage of. So I made my way to my sloop and started to raise my anchor to hit up the sea forts when a thought came over me. Can I get rich without moving? It's time once again for my favorite side hustle, fishing. Because you can sell your fish directly to sovereigns. But we needed a good spot. I chose this one because of its close proximity to the stoves inside the tavern. And as we cast our reel here, I know what you're thinking. There's no way he's going to fish the whole time, right? Hey, I ate 5,000 bananas in one sitting. This is cake to me. And of course, the very first fish is a ruby splash tail. Mock me all you want, game. This is happening. The first problem we encounter here is that there just isn't enough room in our pirates' pockets for all these fish. That's why we've got to cook and then immediately sell them at sovereigns to make space. Our first objective has to be buying a storage crate. It doesn't take us too much longer to accomplish this. We're set in the rhythm of fish, cook, sell, until finally we have enough and we purchase ourselves that storage crate. The first major lifeline to our escapades today. But it won't be the only one, because we're not just going to be fishing splash tails all day. We need to fish a higher class of sea creature. And that's why our next objective is to get enough gold to purchase a bait crate. Another change in Season 9, bait crates give you 50 each of leeches, earthworms, and grubs without the hassle for digging them up. And for our challenge, it's a must-have. Using the storage crate to our advantage, we save time and are able to purchase the bait crate with little difficulty. It's time for an upgrade. Don't you agree, Mr. Plentifin? And our session continued like this. Time passed, but a problem became more pressing. Eventually, we'd run out of earthworm bait from the crate and we weren't going to be able to purchase another one from the merchant right away. My mind was processing this when I realized that we had company. I hurried over to their ship to investigate, but not seeing anyone or anything, I tried my best at Bardcore Diplomacy. Hello there. Hello? Oh, I saw you. Hello? Are we playing tag? Is this a game of hide and go seek? Hello? Hello there. Hi, how you doing? The very fancy hat you've got on there. Hey, can I ask you for a favor? I need a bait crate. Uh, I've already bought mine, so can I get can I get you to buy one? You're amazing. Thanks again for the bait crate. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just a quick side note. It's so cool to get to have these moments playing a Sea of Thieves now. Thank you to everyone who is watching right now. You're all wonderful. But now we had our second bait crate, which meant another 50 plentifins for us to fish. Great. Unfortunately, I decided to take what I thought was going to be a quick break to eat some lunch and be semi AFK. And in that time, a Reaper 5 galleon had appeared, sunk the Bardcore Beauty, and was very, very menacing. Now if we died, it was the end of our challenge. Maybe some more Bardcore Diplomacy would help here? Hello there. I, uh, I see that, uh... My ship is no longer here. How you doing? Well, uh, since my ship's not here, would you like to form an alliance? Well, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing something at the moment, uh, on this island here, so I can't go back to my ship. Um, so actually, if you guys can do me a favor, uh, I need a bait crate. I've already bought a bait crate, so I can't buy another one on this island. But can you buy a bait crate for me? Like the worm crate? Already done, friendo. Oh, look at that. You are, you are just the best. 
That's awesome. Through cycles of night and day, I tussled with the Plentifins. They weren't going to be the best fish, that status reserved for stormfish and wreckers, but each one would bring me closer to goal. Eventually, I noticed that there was a fresh spawn at the dock. Would they be willing to lend aid to a broke pirate? Hello there. How you doing? Hey, could you do me a favor? I am in the need of a bait crate. Can you, can you spare five grand in gold to buy me a bait crate? You're fantastic. That made it a fourth bait crate, 200 potential plentifins at my fingertips. And now a storm is here. Great timing since I have so many spare leeches on hand as well. Got a few stormfish, and after the storm left, it was back to harvesting plentifins until I spotted an approaching sloop on the horizon. From the angle it was taking, it was going to be turning in treasure. And my lizard brain, having spent hours and hours fishing practically nonstop, was itching for something else to do. So we waited and watched as she approached. I even snuck right next to one of the crew as they were harpooning. My mermaid was right there next to the ship, but it didn't seem like they either cared or were paying attention. After I knew the treasure had been mostly harpooned to the sovereign platform and no one was guarding it, I went for it. Immediately, I grabbed the highest value loot I could see and turned it into the sovereign. As soon as I felt a sense of danger, I hightailed it out of there and into the water to find a place to tuck and hide. Imagine my surprise, seeing a 12,000 gold item flash on my screen. It turned out I had sold the red breath of the sea. On top of that, it was the final breath I needed to unlock the last of the commendations I had left for the sunken kingdom. As you might expect, they were not pleased. They ran circles around Port Merrick trying to find me before giving up, but not without one last word. All right, everyone, I'm going to make an announcement. After they had left, I safely managed to cook all the fish that I had caught through the generosity of the crews we had met previously. In total, we had over 100 fish to sell, the majority of which were plentifins. We even managed to catch one bone dust plentifin, the rare variety, netting over 10k in gold. After selling all of my fish, it was time to finally return to the Bardcore Beauty where I took a look at the final tally. Just over 200,000 gold earned in fishing. So. To answer my original question, can I or anyone get rich staying at an outpost? The answer is that it depends. Are you willing to fish during downtime? Do you have a hankering to be a sneak thief when other players come with their loot to sell? In either case, it takes a lot of patience and time. There are plenty of other more lucrative and honestly more efficient ways to get rich in the Sea of Thieves. But maybe... You'll want to keep an eye out at Sovereign's Towers for a while. Until next time, this is John Bardcore signing off, saying so long and take care.